My name is Sheena with Rise Wellness, and this is our weekly prayer for the way of Namaste. Today is August 29th, 2024. Today the sun is in Virgo, an earth sign. Always brings me to that Ma energy, that benevolent guide, that Gaia, that material realm that manipulation of matter onto the Maya. Today we're supported by the moon in Cancer, a water sign, an opportunity to check in with ourselves in our emotional realm, to reparent ourselves, to be the mother we all deserve to have. So grateful that we're in this moment now Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time to drop in. Let's take a breath together. Bringing our air all the way up from the base of our pelvic floor, up and through each of our seven chakras and out, releasing, softening, Letting something go with every exhale. Today we're in Gene Key 40. It's the shadow of exhaustion. It's the gift of resolve and it's the city of divine will. And I've had so many revelations coming to me around divine will and how I thought I knew what it was. And the closer I think I get to understanding anything, (laughs) the more I realize I have no capacity to hold the magnitude of what actually is. And the more that I awaken to that truth of how finite this experience is of being materialized into matter, into form, into these flesh suits, into these identities with these names and all of these stories. Oh my goddess, there are so many stories that come with this puppet suit, this thing that we're in. For me, resolve is bringing those stories to an end, allowing them to come to their natural completion, cutting the cords, releasing from them. Divine will (laughs) is a paradox, as truth always feels like in my body. I couldn't feel more connected to my divine source, to the truth of my one divine nature, to the goddess that lives and breathes me, that is me, that there is no separation from me. I am that. And I am that in my remembering that we are all that. Because that is how powerful these fires balls of light and energy are that even while they could be flying through space they choose to manipulate matter and materialize onto the material world to come into form as information in order to express love and the truth of how love transcends time. What incredible time travelers we are to keep coming back just to say, I love you and I see you. It takes so much energy for all of that matter to settle. And that matter settling attaches to story. And we end up on the wheel of samskara, an Akashic record of stories. Resolve is when we bring the stories to the end. 
there are mo no more stories and we do fly off into space and somehow it's the most connected I've ever been while it's the most aloneness I've ever felt and yet somehow I know that I am guided I feel the presence of Melchizedek I feel the presence of an energy that's so beyond my intellectual understanding that I couldn't possibly try to anthropomorphize it. And I'm so sure of it, sure, more sure than I've ever been of anything that where we're going to is gonna be so much more magical than where we've been or where we remember where we've been in our distant past. But what is distance anymore? Where we're going, this place, it is a dream. And here we are in this wonderland creating this dream. And there's no fear in this dream. We wouldn't even think of it. It wouldn't even come into our system to put fear there because we're so enveloped in so much love and peace. And there would be no desire to experience anything other than that because there's no more doing. There's only the isness of our being. We're just here now. And I recognize divine will is free will. When we've jumped off of the wheel of samskara and we've given up our stories, we get to decide when we will manipulate matter, when we will manifest into form, because it will matter, because it matters to us. And this is empathy. When we materialize into matter, we do because it matters, because love matters and love transcends the illusion, the fabric of space and time when it matters and it always matters. So it's always doing this, but now it's so undeniable that there is no space. We are matter. We are these balls of energy. And I couldn't have been more sure than running on the treadmill this morning at the, at the gym at Orange Theory. So excited to be back at the gym. Recognizing that for me, inertia is when I have spent too long in a story, materialized into matter, because something there mattered to me. And until I got to the root of the story, could I shift the matter so that there could be rich, fertile soil for something new to grow something that would matter more in the next moment after everything had been resolved. And so the relationships that I wanna have, they matter to me. The friends that I get to experience in this finite time that I'm here, what a joy, what a bliss. This is the divine will, it's the freedom to choose what matters? What matters to me? And if I don't choose to manifest on the physical form, I have ether, I have air, I have the energy of the light that communicates in everything around us. And how beautiful this web that we weave and how more beautiful and poetic could it be in the bittersweet moments of learning of our connectivity when so many of us transitioned our work lives into our home lives and we operated via Zoom. And Zoom gave us the reminder of this world wide web that we're constantly weaving. Where it no longer has to be our energy used in a car 
in a job, in a commute, in an outsourcing of energy to get something back from that that was supposed to be enough for us and for so many of us, it just wasn't enough. And free energy, this is divine will when we free up our energy. Today I got to free up my energy in a way that might sound comical, but I just love how entertaining and amusing the divine is. Growing up with three brothers and a girly mom, my mom loved to take me out to spa days and days to get my nails done and the whole thing. And so I grew up with the rituals of getting my nails done, among other things, waxing and hair and all the things. And I've kept it up and I've enjoyed keeping it up. And yet, there is an exchange that I make with money and with time in this ritual that's usually once every three weeks of getting my nails done. And so today, as I got my nails done, I sat in this place of resolution this place of deep acceptance and excitement that just last week or the week before I said to a friend that I wanted to learn how to play the ukulele and just like that she said I have a ukulele and I'm not using it and I'd love to give it to you and a, a few days later I meet someone that plays the ukulele that says oh my gosh I would love to help you learn and then I get this ukulele and I go to play this ukulele and because of my long, beautiful fingernails, I can't play it. And the divine will right now says, do you want to have long, pretty fingernails that don't actually serve a function other than look appealing to somebody that likes that? Or would you rather have the functionality of learning how to play the ukulele, this gift that literally just landed on your lap? And the divine will within me said, of course, I want to play this instrument. And so today I went to have my nails cut so that I could learn to play this instrument, to decide to free my will, to free my energy. And in that sacred contract, I got to say, what a beautiful experience this has been in all the years that it has served me. And now in this moment, I choose my energy to go into learning how to play the ukulele. Whether I'm good or not, it doesn't matter because it's a form of play and the divine always wants to play through us. And so now I come out with this beautiful excitement to learn to play the ukulele and there's no sacrifice. There's no thing that I've lost in this. There's only a win. Guess what? My nails are so beautiful and strong that I don't need to outsource some other products because they're already beautiful on their own. And now they get to string the strings of this instrument to play the music of the divine. And just in making that sacred contract now, I have freed up the time that it takes me to commute for the appointment every three weeks for this ritual, plus the expense between the gas and getting my nails done and the tip, that luxury that I've been spending on my nails has now just freed up my energy in this completely bountiful, beautiful, prosperous way that I may not have conceived a year ago. I didn't because I would have done this then if I had. And so I honor the time and space of this divine will and how it moves through me to guide me in each moment to bring me exactly where I need to be. And today as I rejoined the gym and I got to put my energy back into my body, back into using my body as a machine, as a quantum computer that it was meant to with blood pumping to see the endurance and the strength and the capacity that I have. This was the divine will. And I made that sacred contract that I will invest 
this amount of energy into this place for the feel good endorphins, the serotonin, the dopamine, the ritual that I get to have with the gym. And now this money that I've freed up from my fingernails now gets to go to the gym. And what a beautiful paradigm this is. The divine will flowing through me that says there is no sacrifice. There is only the will of the divine as it moves through you. This is free will. This is sovereignty. I have released myself from a paradigm of a story and attaching to a wheel of samskara and so therefore my time gets to be freed up. I literally get to be a free spirit. This is Virgo season. I get to literally embody purely the essence of this Virgo archetype, this ma. This energy that's been freed up, guess what? I got to find a petition to sign so that I could help save the state parks in Florida and preserve natural wildlife. Because the more that I refine and purify my energy, the more free will I have. And the more free my will is, the more good I want to do with it. The more sacred service that I want to be in. And when the universe hears you embodying the archetype of a prayer, every single word that you speak is infused with the frequency of a prayer. And the world responds to us when we are in prayer because it is the language of the divine, because it speaks directly, purely from the heart. And this is the will of the divine when we can put an end to our own personal victimhood and we release ourselves from any paradigm where we have to create a story. And in that release, we get to just be these little balls of energy sparkling all over wherever the universe needs us to be, but we get to take our power back. Let's take a breath right now and let's take our power back. Breathing all the way in, maybe the biggest breath that we've taken all day. Feel this cauldron, this energy moving up through us, all through our chakras, weaving all the way through any impurity, any stagnation, any limiting belief, any story, any archetype, anything that's not in the highest alignment for the greatest good and for the greatest choice for all sentient life seven times seven times seven generations back and seven times seven seven times ten <laughs> generations forward this prayer releases all that no longer serves in three two Exhale, releasing, making space for the will of the divine. Right now it's 2024. It's a number eight year, eight year, the year of abundance, the year of the chariot. I couldn't feel any more like a chariot than I do now. This vessel, this vessel floating through space with no hands on the reins, just trusting. And even when it feels like it's me and Melchizedek, <laughs> just out here, just out here. I know it's not because I'm so interconnected with every single being that I have ever loved and will love and could ever love. And it's all there without a story, without a name. It just is. This week, I pray you get the rest that you need. You take the breaks that you need. This shadow of exhaustion, this is the collective state that many of us are in. We're exhausted by 
trying to find time to get our nails done when we should be playing music and trying to find the time to do other things when we should be doing other things. We're creating these stories of tryings and shoulds. This is the time we get to play. What a magical time to be here now, creating the tapestry of the new earth through our artistic expression, walking into every place like God sent us there because they did because you are that. My soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Sending you so much love and light this week. Namaste.